Hi, welcome back to the mobile media channel of uh, ITV Asia. Uh, I have today with our uh, special guest is uh, Joshua Ma from uh, Madhouse and uh, I'm Alvin Graylin from uh, MInfo. So uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about mobile marketing and uh, what they've been doing. So Joshua, why don't you start us off and uh, talk to us and give us a few key points about why you're different than every other mobile marketing agency in China. Okay, uh, yeah, Madhouse actually is not a mobile agency. Uh, Madhouse is a um, mobile network company as well as we provide integrated mobile marketing solutions to our agency partners. So we don't, at Madhouse, we don't represent client at all. Mm -hmm. we, we partner with agencies and service their clients. Mm, okay, that's an yeah. interesting point. Good, good. And I understand you have uh, one of the larger uh, mobile ad networks. Uh, maybe right. you can tell us a little bit about some of the statistics that uh, make it special. Okay, right now um, we see there are about uh, 65,000 independent mobile sites available in China. Mm -hmm. And from the big portal to the long tails, mm -hmm. uh, we work with uh, quite a lot of uh, publishers, a lot of publisher partners join, join in and included by our mobile ad networks. So, um, yeah, definitely the largest one and the most intelligent ad network company in China, mm -hmm. starting from China. Okay. So um, what we believe and what we see is really we use technology to our, our uh, mobile ad serving platform that enable our publishers, you know, from traffic to very targeted ad inventory. And together we work with agencies and services their client when they do you know, mobile web media buying media campaigns. Um, uh, very targeted mobile ad campaigns can be delivered mm, excellent. and served. So uh, uh, Josh was also the, uh, the former uh, chairman of the uh, mobile media or uh, mobile marketing association in Asia Pacific. And yesterday we talked to uh, Jimmy, who's the current chairman. So uh, you know maybe Josh, we can talk a few words about uh, what's MMA doing in Asia and in China specifically. Oh, just correct it a bit. As the chairman of MMA APAC, um mobile advertising guidelines ah. standards only that ah. that 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 committee. Mm -hmm. Yeah and. At MMA, uh, actually, at APAC, uh, Madhouse, and together with other members and both directs, uh, we have been doing um, a lot of things together, trying to accelerate mobile marketing adoption by the agency and um, and uh, brand clients as well. Especially, Madhouse got involved deeply in the uh, mobile web advertising guidelines and standards. Um, that's for you know everyone you know in not only in China or APAC, through uh, MMA Global, actually uh, we want all players that have a, uh, a good gui guidance, standards to follow and to, you know, uh, guidelines is set to be revised. Mm -hmm. So everyone got comments, uh, have new opinion, findings. We actually do that, revise that, upgrade that on a quality basis. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's quite um, useful. Yeah, absolutely. I think with uh, any industry having good standards that everybody's obeying to uh, makes it easier to grow. So uh, that's right. You guys that's are doing a great job. <laughs> Thank you. Um, also, some uh, I guess good news from Madhouse recently. You guys uh, did a deal with uh, Nokia. There was a, a, a equity investment. Can that's you right. say a few words about that? And wh where do you see that helping uh, or going in the next uh, year or two for you guys? I think for Madhouse, definitely we are very honored. We are we are we are, we are very pleased that um, even they. Um, <coughs> acquire uh, other mo mobile marketing and network platform company in pocket a year ago. Uh, I think globally Nokia has been still uh, seeking you know innovative companies mm -hmm. in the mobile uh, sectors mm -hmm. um, and we are picked that uh, as a mobile marketing and network company uh, and from the, this partnership with them uh, we are but uh, very proud of it. Okay, so through that partnership for Madhouse, I think in a way, uh, for Madhouse is we will possibly from a China focus, and what company become multinational or global uh, through not only with Nokia's partnership but with others um, partners together as well. Mm -hmm. So I think next year for Madhouse uh, is a year to 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 do the uh, uh, to go international. Oh, excellent. So you'll be competing with the uh, ad mobs of the world? or mm, Competing or partnering. Mm. 
Excellent. I saw the ad mob uh, folks were here yesterday, so yeah. uh, they, uh, I think they're looking for you, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> um, so 2008 is uh, the, you know, supposed to be the year of China, you know, the Olympics and all the things that's going on in China and the big growth. Um, you know, what do you think are some of the biggest things that's happened in China and mobile this year? Okay, a couple of things. I think two. Mm -hmm. One, as everyone knows, the uh, telecom industry uh, restructure. Mm -hmm. Okay, right now everyone knows that they are, there will be three mobile carriers and will be granted uh, three different 3G licenses. Mm -hmm. Right, it's WCDMA, CDMA 2000, and TDS CDMA. Mm -hmm. uh, 3G is coming, definitely, and it's good for everyone. But I think the key takeaway, especially in China, as not really the bandwidth, all the uh, you know, powerful phones will be available as actually three carriers competing mm -hmm. in their sector and that will benefit the whole other players in the value chain. So the environment, mobile value chain environment will become more uh, friendly, accepting new innovations and business models mm -hmm. and I think that's pretty good, good even for carriers, mm -hmm. for other players like Meta, like you know, I mean for like everyone else in the value chain and that is really promoting innovation and new services and business models and I'm uh, um, really look forward to it. Yeah, in fact, we're, we're seeing similar things in our market where now there's a lot more competing between the, the, the carriers and they're much more open That's to, right. uh, to working together. Exactly, exactly. And the other thing is in March, the government eventually uh, you know, took some action, quickened down the uh, SMS ads, mm -hmm. uh, services models. Um, I think that is pretty good. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, for mobile marketing advertising, uh, the government and the carriers sort of uh, point in the right direction for the players. Mm -hmm. Okay, spamming from the web to the other type of models like who or up in mm -hmm. with permissions. <clears throat> so consumer privacy is much better protected. Mm -hmm. So I think that these two are probably the most important events. Mm -hmm. things that happened this year yeah. in the mobile area. I would uh, generally, generally agree with that. Now, I mean, doing business in China is, is pretty tough, but uh, you know, are there any special, unique challenges of doing business in mobile uh, business uh, in China? Yeah, been in China in mobile mm -hmm. space yeah. for eight years. Mm -hmm. Okay, doing business in China in mobile eight years. Um, hard, hard for me to, to say. Is it really more challenging than other industry or in other country? I think every country has its own like uniqueness, mm -hmm. right? There are pros and cons doing business in sure. China. So as long as you respect mm -hmm. the market enough and willing to learn, localize yourself. Because I'm I'm not grew up uh, grew up in China. Um, I think you are okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, don't probably just don't bring over too much burdens mm -hmm. uh, from what you learn in other countries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. just respect. It's a big, it's a new, um, it's challenging market. Like, as long as you focus, you can still do so more acti local. acting local. Is yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, be local. You are local. <laughs> we are a local company. Yes, and uh, Madhouse is, uh, or actually Joshua has done very well in his prior two companies, uh, both Rock Mobile and Tom. So. Tom. Yes. Uh, and those are very successful companies that, uh, you know, that uh, I think anybody would be proud of. So, um, so you know, oh, you mentioned 3G earlier. So 3G is coming out with TDSMA. The other standards may be a little slower in coming. Um, how do you see all of this affecting your business in 2009, oh, and also maybe three or five years out? Okay, 2009. I don't know. Mm -hmm. What what any implication or impact mm -hmm. uh, on Madhouse business? Uh, in terms of 3G, mm -hmm. but 3 and 3, 5 years from now, definitely yes, mm -hmm. definitely yes. Uh, for example, as I mentioned, you know, a lot of uh, innovative ideas, business model will be, can be implemented mm -hmm. because the environment itself will become more accepting, you know, welcome, welcoming innovations. Uh, just as mentioned, it's because it's more competitive mm -hmm. in carrier sectors. Um, that's good for everyone else mm -hmm. in the value chain. Uh, the other thing is mobile plus 3G broadband. I think um, in terms of the user's uh, behavior using the phone uh, or our mobile media consumption will 
definitely change a bit. Right now, as from SMS, MMS, probably to mobile internet now, and pretty soon I think the mobile widget, client media, mm -hmm. will play more and more important important role mm -hmm. down the road uh, when we have three Gs, um, including like mobile uh, video, mm -hmm. TV, I am browsers, a lot of applications, mm -hmm. gamings, network gaming, etc. I think that's that's a very important trend mm -hmm. on the media side. Okay, so but what you're saying is still in 2009, you really don't see a big impact? Then. No, 2009, mm -hmm. no. Okay. And you, you mentioned a lot of different technologies there. Now, what things will actually make a difference in 2009? What, what, which one of those technologies are working for your companies or your clients today? Uh, today will be, um, you know, what we provide is mobile anywhere, mm -hmm. mobile web. And that's when our client, that our agency partners, treat mobile web as a new media. And you know, we, with Madhouse, we run a very targeted ad campaigns on this new media. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, if we treat mobile phone as a personalized interactive device, that when the advertisers run traditional media campaigns, like outdoor, like TV, whatever, uh, bus panel ads, uh, or underground events, their target audience definitely, well, probably outside of phone, they don't have internet access, but they do have a phone with them. Mm -hmm. So the, the user, the consumer see the ads, can interact, can engage with the brand anytime, anywhere. Mm -hmm. So that also help the mobile marketing part, also help the uh, traditional media campaigns on ROI, you know, conversion rate, uh, the interactive or engagement experience mm -hmm. much, much better. I think these two works pretty well right now for the client, uh, brand advertisers. And in the future, down the road, I think, as mentioned, I think um, I, I, I see that more and more big brands, besides advertise on mobile internet, you know, smartly and intelligently, uh, they will do more and more mobile marketing campaigns, solution-based uh, widgets, mm -hmm. client software, you know, branded on-device portal, etc. Mm -hmm. That's that's something that I I foresee mm -hmm. as and well. Well, you 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 know you've done a lot of integrated campaigns of different types. What what things are not working? What type of technology have you used that you've been disappointed with? Um, really hard to answer this one <laughs> <laughs> because. Uh, we, we got a lot of partners as well, you know, uh -huh. different technology, etc. One thing I'd like to point out is it's very good technology, uh, 2D barcode mm -hmm. or like photo recognition mm -hmm. type of thing. However, um, make it effective. Uh, that type of services or client software need to be driven by either handset manufacturers or carriers. Mm -hmm. But in China, I uh, haven't seen anyone really doing that. So when client got convinced by agency or any mobile marketing ex expert doing that campaign, and sometimes it's because the reader or the, the, the application is not the pre-install pre base, mm -hmm. penetration is very low. Yeah. So that will result in it's not really a lot of response. Mm -hmm. So that would probably, but the technology itself is definitely very good, okay, and a lot of good applications that we can apply to mobile marketing. However, just the infrastructure is not there yet. Mm -hmm. Not like Japan or probably other country, right? The, the carrier driven everything. Yes. So, so as uh, for mobile payment, mm -hmm. it's a bit slow. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I think in terms of mobile marketing, we can do a lot of a, a lot better and provide a lot of solutions for different type of uh, uh, marketers mm -hmm. or achieving different type of mark, uh, mobile marketing objectives. Mm -hmm. So for an average campaign, what's the size of an average campaign you see in 2008? What do you see okay. it changing in 2009? I, I think it's, I see some changes right now mm -hmm. as we speak. Uh, average, average campaign size would be 30, 40 US. Mm -hmm per campaign, mm -hmm. but I, I think every quarter we can see um, like, you know, 
budget per, per campaign like mm-hmm. with a new record. Mm-hmm. Right now we are the, the, we the, at this month we we did a one campaign single campaign with uh, in terms of US dollar is about half million. Wow, half million US. One yeah, one campaign for one month. Yeah, um, no, no, longer, uh-huh. but it's one campaign. Mm-hmm. So the brand client committed to that. It's purely mobile internet mm-hmm. media campaigns. One campaign with half a million US, and that's re- really breaking the re- record. Yeah. And but is that mostly just uh, media buys, or is there, how would the kind of components would be part uh, of it? Media part buys, of it? sponsorship, mm-hmm. uh, customized channel, and how to say, interaction tools mm-hmm. together. Mm-hmm. Tailor made for that client, for media. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, Madhouse is a, a local company. Is there any international companies that you modeled yourself after, or you really admire in an industry today? I think uh, there's one. Mm-hmm. Uh, happened to be our shareholder as well. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's from Japan, D2 Communication. Mm-hmm. It's a joint venture between D- Docomo and. Mm. They've been doing this mobile marketing advertising from 2000, mm. 2000. Mm-hmm. and that's why I, I admire them a bit because yeah, and they are the definitely the distant leader in Japan. Mm-hmm. Um, we have shared vision and believe in same values that we, we, we both of us strong believe in the future of mobile advertising marketing, mm-hmm. and we don't touch internet at all. We those company focus on mobile. Enabling different ad products, different ad serving technology, mm-hmm. uh, enabling different format of ads and mobile phones. That's really yeah, bring bring us together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. So total ad budget spend on mobile is still relatively small. It's probably you know, less than one percent of total ad spend. Of course, yeah, um, definitely less one. Yeah, less. <laughs> now, wh- why do you think that is? I mean, with such a, a you know a big well, penetration of mobile, why why aren't there more advertisers? Yeah, any any ad spending on any particular new media, mm-hmm. you need to go through that. Go through that sort of you know new uh, early adapter. Then you know. mm-hmm. I think mobile internet or mobile marketing will sort of um, benefit from the marketers learning from internet marketing and advertising experience. Mm-hmm. So we wouldn't it wouldn't need that longer time as you know advertisers spend eventually adapt internet marketing. That's probably six ten years, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Till now. Still a lot of brand advertisers they don't spend on internet yet. Mm-hmm. They don't want to, right? Mm-hmm. They don't believe in it. So for mobile internet or mobile marketing, we need to go through that curve as well. So mm-hmm. I don't think, I think that's, that's uh, how to say, it, it's not, it's right, 1%, then mm-hmm. next year probably 2%, good enough. Mm-hmm. Internet in China this year, uh, as spending on internet is less than 6% of total. Mm-hmm. Still, I don't, I don't, I don't hear they complaining. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think probably it's 0.5 percent this year for mobile, mm-hmm. and I think it's pretty good. Okay, it's gonna grow faster and faster. When do you see it hitting a, a maturity stage, or you know, never? It's gonna keep on growing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, and when you when you get a client to really buy into doing a mobile app, what, what's the you know two key selling points that you think they you know, that really convinces them? I think we always compare mm-hmm. uh, the advantage of mobile marketing and mobile advertising, especially on mobile web. Mm-hmm. Uh, compare those advantage uh, with traditional media, mm-hmm. and when when they have online advertising, mm-hmm. we compare that because everything on mobile is really uh, personalized, mm-hmm. trackable, right? Anytime, anywhere. Ge- geography targeting, you know, mm-hmm. UA targeting. Etc. Um, that's something that they want to buy, based on you know, our three years experience here. It's, there are certain points that really knocking knocking the door. Mm-hmm. They they buy, yeah. So probably first campaign is try, mm-hmm. and we see a lot of big marketers, you know, keep on doing it. 
what kind of numbers are you showing them that really convinces them to come back and do the second and third and fourth? Okay. Reviews? Well, it depends on the marketing objective mm -hmm. or the client industry, uh, the, 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 the campaign that they are, they are planning for. Some advertiser doing that campaign is for word of mouth, PR effect, really targeted small scale you know, word of mouth type of effects like mm -hmm. the Nike campaigns mm -hmm. that we did, Bluetooth, etc. The, the scale, the, uh, the coverage from that type of mobile marketing solution type of campaigns won't be big. Mm -hmm. But if the clients, this campaign, they want reach, they want scale, they want to reach X percent of their target audience on mobile internet. Then we have to do mobile advertising rather than you know underground event booths or Bluetooth or two SMS type of thing. Uh, it won't reach scale, so depends on the marketing objective. So I think really the key is working with agency and get involved in er earlier in the game of each campaign. Mm -hmm. Then we can contribute more, and the hit rate, the success rate is much much higher mm -hmm. than you get involved at the later stage. Yeah, I completely agree. So, you know, I think something that's on everybody's mind right now is the economic downturn, you know, globally yeah. and in China. Um, do you see that affecting your business in the next year or two years? Definitely. Uh, I would say, I think mobile marketing, you know, spending and spending will definitely grow mm -hmm. at least 50% next year, still. Mm -hmm. But as already lower than what we expected a year ago, right? Mm -hmm. So it definitely got some impact. However, I think uh, mobile marketing will get that much impact compared with other new media or traditional media. Um, so I think overall the digital ad spending still grow next year, mm -hmm. but not as high as before. Mm -hmm. Traditional depends, I would say. It's more impact on traditional and smaller media would, would get squeezed mm -hmm. and because the big one in each category, media, would sort of uh, sort of the must to have media buy, right? So they would take most of the budget and uh, that over for others would be very minimal. That's what I see, mm -hmm. I don't know, mm -hmm. that's what I see. Yeah. Uh, I think that's what I'm hearing as well. So. Uh, well, good. Well, at least we have a little bit of good news to look forward to. There will still be growth in the digital oh, and, and in the mobile. So, definitely. definitely. Um, I think we're out of time, but uh, thank you all for, for joining us at the, uh, the mobile media channel of the um, I, uh, ITV Asia. And I uh, hope you'll tune in again in our uh, next session. And uh, thank you, Joshua, for taking time to uh, speak with us. Thank you. My pleasure. In Matt, we trust. <laughs>